What is going on guys welcome back to another video of chat application development series in android studio. Till now we have completed everything related to login things in our application. So let me log into the application. OTP is 111111. Next. This is my username because I have logged in already and created the account. So let me go in now. So we are in main activity. Now we are going to design our main activity. So let's get started. So let's close all this. Let's open main activity dot Java and activity main dot XML. Click on split, make it a relative layout. And say hello to this hello world and let's delete it. Now let's first make a app bar over here. So we will use relative layout for that relative layout width will be match parent height will be wrap content and inside this relative layout i will use one text view that will be our app name wrap content wrap content text will be app name text size will be 22 sp and text style will be bold and let me give the background to this relative layout background will be my primary and padding about 10 dp for text view color will be white color and some margin start that is 10 dp and center in vertical will be true so we have this beautiful app name i will add one icon over here to search the user so we are in the main activity we want to search for the new user there should be one icon so for that icon i will go to drawable new vector asset clip art icon will be search icon I will take this one I will name it icon search and I can make the color of this I click on next finish so let me use that as an image button over here image button about 32 dp height will be 32 dp source of image will be search icon and parent end will be true like this we have that image let's remove that background so i will use question mark at tree slash borderless if you type borderless over here borderless selectable item background borderless so it will remove the background let's make the tint color will be white it should be app tint also center in vertical will be true and we will give some margin at the end about 10 dp so that's it we are done with our toolbar now in main activity i will use bottom navigation view so that i can have bottom navigation view where i will use one option for chat one option for profile for that i will use a frame layout over here first so that in that frame we will add chat fragment and the profile fragment so for that i will use frame layout width will be match parent height will be match parent so that it will take full it should be outside this relative layout because this is this relative layout is the toolbar so here it will be and it should be below this toolbar so i will give id to this relative layout first id will be toolbar main underscore toolbar so this frame layout will be below main toolbar it will below it so we have frame layout now let's create bottom navigation view so bottom navigation view width will be match parent height will be wrap content here this is our bottom navigation view so i will align parent bottom will be true so here it comes so here it comes i will set the background for this also attribute that will be borderless selectable item background borderless so here is our bottom navigation bar now above this bottom navigation bar i want to see one divider and above that divider the frame layout should be there so I will put one divider over here material divider width will be match parent height will be 2 dp so here is the divider it should be above our bottom navigation view I will give one id for this id will be bottom navigation so it should be our bottom navigation and this frame layout should be above the divider so I will give id to divider also and frame layout should be above divider so our frame layout is in between this divider and the toolbar now we have to add some items in this bottom navigation view so for that i have to create the menu so for menu go to resource first right click new 
click on android resource directory so android resource directory and resource type will be menu so first we will create the directory that will be our menu click on ok we have this menu directory right click new menu resource file so this menu will be bottom navigation menu click ok it will create the file let's split and here we have to add the items i will add two items over here that will be item title will be chats and icon will be icon will be chat icon and id will be menu chat i will copy this and i will make another one that will be profile icon will be pro person icon and id will be menu profile so i will have two items for now i will close this and in bottom navigation view i will provide the menu app menu that will be bottom navigation menu so as you can see we have this chats and profile over here so we have designed our main activity let's run it and check it as you can see our application is running we have this nice toolbar with search button over here and we have this bottom navigation view chat and profile so let's create two fragment that will be chat fragment and profile fragment so that we can place that in this frame layout so let's do that go over here and create a new fragment so instead of activity we will create a fragment that will be blank fragment we will name it as a chat fragment click on finish so it will provide the code we need some things over here that is on create view let's remove this on create remove this also new instance and this comment also we require this public constructor other than that let's remove everything so let's remove this comment also so this thing we require so we have this chat fragment and fragment chat that is our design screen so here it is hello blank fragment so here also I will design something for now let it be be relative layout and this text view will be chat screen and it will be center in parent will be true height will be wrap content and width will be wrap content text size will be 22 22 sp so we have just designed this to know where we are so we have chat fragment now let's create another fragment that will be profile fragment here give the name profile fragment here also let's remove all the unwanted codes except public constructor and this on create view methods so we have chat fragment and profile fragment let's design profile fragment also i will copy from here everything and paste it here it will be profile fragment and it will be profile screen so we have two fragment right now now let's go to main activity and insert this fragment in main activity so that when we click on chat it should show chat screen when we click on profile it should show profile screen let's go to main activity first let's define the layouts so bottom navigation view we have bottom navigation view we have one image button that is search button we have two fragment chat fragment and profile fragment so in on create method first we will initialize these fragments new chat fragment from that public constructor so new profile fragment we have initialized we'll provide the id of these views so bottom navigation view find view id r dot id dot bottom navigation search button find view id r dot id dot i have not provided the id for that let's go to activity main and provide id for everything so search button will be id main search button and for frame layout also we'll provide id that will be main frame layout let's go to main activity now main search button right now we are not doing anything for search button but we should set bottom navigation view so for bottom navigation view when we click on any item so set on item selected listener this listener we have to set on item selected listener so when item is selected it will give us the item so we will check over here if item dot get item id equals to equals to r dot id dot the id of the menu item so we have added the menu item menu chat if it is chat item then we will do get support fragment manager so that we can add that fragment in this frame layout so begin transaction dot 
replace r dot id dot frame layout that is main frame layout with chat fragment dot commit so when we click on chat item it will immediately apply our chat fragment so if i will copy the same i will paste it over here if item is equal to menu profile then it should replace as a profile fragment we will return true because we have handled it so we have set the on click listener so when we are first coming to the activity then something should be selected so for that bottom navigation view dot set selected item that will be r dot id dot chats so by default r dot id dot menu chat so by default we will select chat and we click on profile it should be profile so let's run it as you can see by default it is chat screen if you click on profile screen it will be profile screen chat and we can navigate from one screen to another screen this search button is not working because we have not added anything let's add for that also so here search button dot set on click listener i'll use lambda for that so when we click on search button we have to go to search activity so i have not created the search activity let's create that new activity that will be empty activity search user activity click on finish we have search activity so we don't want to code right now so from main activity we just have to navigate to new intent main activity dot this search user activity dot class so when i run it click on search I am in search activity. So that's all for this video. In next video, we'll design the search activity and implement the codes so that user can search for other users and can start chat from there. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries, please comment below. I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you in the next video. Bye bye.